Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to Chop with Laura and welcome back to our kitchen series of videos. If you missed our last video, we did a fun craft kit, which you can get over in my VIP group, group.chopwithlaura.com. It is why do they want dinner every single night? How cute is that? And we're going to continue with a cup holder with our Blessed Beyond Measure. You guys might recognize this from the cover of our spring catalog and is actually on an apron, which would be super cute as well. Uh, the Blessed Beyond Measure, I believe, was on the apron. And I'm going to go ahead and put the two of them on our 9x9 box frame. Now, this is going to turn into a little holder for our measuring cups. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But we're going to chalk on the, the, the box first. This is a double-sided box frame, so you could do something else on the other side if you wanted to change up your decor. And maybe something that would be holiday or something like that, so that you could have one side be for more year-round generic things, and one side could be for holiday related. So we're gonna do Bless Beyond Measure on the white side, and I'm just gonna wax the board here. This is our wax applicator. Love this little, little thing here. And then I've got some surface wax. Whenever you're doing something that's not a chalkboard, you wanna go ahead and wax, especially on wood. It helps create a nice surface for your transfer, helps make sure that it doesn't um, uh, get any of the wood bits on the transfer, kind of extends the life of your transfer, but also it, it makes a nice spot for your paste to go as well. So we've got a fun little applicator and then some surface wax. This is Kill's surface wax, but we have a uh, surface wax in the store as well. I'm just using up kind of what I already had. So first step in with our, with our transfer is to do the fuzzing. And we've got our fuzz cloth here. You want to add a little bit of lint to the back of your transfer because you want to take away a little bit of the sticky. I know it sounds weird, but you want to make sure that you have not as much sticky on your transfer when you use it. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this in two stages because this is a eight and a half by 11 transfer and obviously the box frame is a little bit less size it's a little smaller size so i'm first going to do blessed um how did i decide i was going to do this actually you know what i'm, I'm looking at it. it's just oh it's just barely i'm going to take away a little bit of the space in between blessed beyond measure and the measuring cup so first i'm going to do blessed beyond measure down here at the bottom whoop Hair, you don't want hairs. That's what happens when you got a head, right? You get hair sometimes <laughs> in your transfers. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth down the Bless Beyond Measure. And we're gonna do that in just the basic, the basic black velvet. I'm going to move from this angle so I can get kind of underneath there a little bit. And uh, we'll do our, our black velvet paste. And you're just going to squeegee on and pull off the excess quick and easy. You can craft kit, hop over to that VIP group and you can grab one while, they, while supplies last. Quick and easy project. It's going to go perfect with all of our uh, kitchen themes because it's true, right, moms? You hear me? You understand? The struggle is real. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this part of the transfer up. How cute. Well, hang on here. There we go. All right, now what I'm going to do is dry this and then I'm going to put the top part of the transfer on over. Now I see a little tiny spot that I actually missed. So I'm just gonna grab my paintbrush real quick. Grab a little bit of my black paste. Normally when I lift it up, I don't lift it up quite so fast so I can put it back down, but that since the top part was actually not really attached, it lifted right off, so there went that opportunity. Usually I have an opportunity to fix what I might need to do. So right now we've got Blessed Beyond Measure, and now we're gonna add our accents. But first we need to dry it, so let's go ahead and dry this. 
Have you guys had a chance to hop on and see our new celebrations catalog? So beautiful. I've got stuff coming. And in the meantime, we are going to do kitchen because I have this series of things that are all kitchen related. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do them all in a row for us. That'll be fun. But we're gonna dry this first because the transfer is gonna go over this and I just don't want it to stick in any way um, or have it pull it up. I'm going to use the transfer backer sheet as kind of a protection as well, uh, I think. I might pop it under there after I'm done lining up the top part. Just to be sure, you can kind of tell when it's dried if it will lose its sheen. The paste will lose its sheen and become more of a matte color when you look at it from kind of in an angle. So, yeah. All right, let's let's do the top part. Let's see where we line ourselves up here. Actually, um, let me try that again with getting it up a little further. This is how you can use your backer sheet to protect your design. So it's mainly just so that the extra paste above doesn't get where it's not supposed to be. And now we're gonna do this bottom part with our measuring cup and the flowers. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's perfect, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the flowers first because they're just wanting to come up anyway. So we're gonna do the flowers and we're gonna do that in jade for these two side flowers. Do that real quick. And then we'll do our cups in the new dusky blue, which I love this color dusky blue. Used it a ton. We used it for the craft kit last time. It's just such a pretty country, like a country blue. So do our measuring cups. And then I'm gonna show you how you can add some hooks to it. And we're gonna hang our, our real measuring cups from it. So it literally can be a functional piece of art in your kitchen. I knew as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's what I wanna make with it. I wanna make a holder for my measuring cups. All right, let's peel this. Yeah. Perfect, okay. Put this over here. Now, now we've got it on the nine by nine. So there's our blessed beyond measure. Isn't that cute? Like that would just be cute in and of itself, but we're gonna take it to the next level here. This is, um, let me put away my paste real quick. This frame, and while I'm putting away the paste, let me tell you three ways to get everything you want with Chocolate Tour. First is to buy it. We don't mind, you can buy one of everything. I don't mind. Uh, my shop is open 24 seven at shop.chocolateflora.com. You can see all the new stuff there and go shopping to your heart's content. I will also link everything I'm using today up in the description so you'll be able to get those items um, if you're wanting to make this project specifically. And then the second way to get everything you want is to join our club. We've got a beautiful April Club Couture Design right here. Keep going, keep growing. I did that video a few, a few videos ago. If you have missed it, you can scroll back and see but uh, it's our exclusive membership and you get a, a design that's only for club members every month. You get three chalk paste, you get uh, flat rate shipping, you get monthly specials or specials throughout the year, but we do have one this month as well with our Aiden board on sale for you guys, club members. You get a welcome gift from me, you get a um, monthly gift from me, or sorry, a quarterly gift from me. I'm just confusing all my words today. And that's at club.chocolaflora.com hop over there and see that. And then of course the third way is to be a designer. We get an amazing discount every single day with Chocolate Tour. So if you find that you just want all the things, you wanna make some stuff for friends or family, or you wanna make some extra income by selling your finished goods or doing workshops, join.chocolateboard.com is the link. You're gonna to wanna to get in our, our designer starter kit, which is brand new for April as well. 
So I have four measuring cups and then I have these little hooks, these little, what are they called? Cup hooks. Cause they're for cups, right? Cup hooks. And this frame measures 10 inches, even though it's a nine by nine frame, the edge to edge is 10 inches. So I actually um, am going to mark off every two inches on the bottom and I'm just using the ruler here on my mat. So I'm gonna mark a, a spot every two inches that is gonna be where I'm gonna put my hook. That way I'll know um, that it's even. So I'm gonna take my hook and now I should be able to, whoop, I should be able to push hard enough to get it started without drilling, but we'll see. If I need to grab my drill, I can grab my drill, but I was trying to show you guys how to do it without one. These are pointy, so they should start themselves after a period of time, maybe. Now, would it be easier to grab the drill? Probably. Yes, actually, I think I might have to pre-drill a hole. Okay, one second, hang tight. My drill is right in the other room because you guys know I'm moving and I've been doing all the things. So hang on. I almost grabbed this before we started the video. And I was like, I know I should do that, but just in case. Well, ladies, if you do not have a drill of your own, you can actually um, get this to eat. You could get it, just keep going. It's just, uh, well, it's not super easy, but it's not super hard either. But if you do have a drill of your own, you can drill your own holes. Let me see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna use this one. It is 764. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do some drilling, and I am going to just drill a tiny pilot hole right there on the marks that I'd made from earlier. pilot holes here on the bottom okay now now we should be able to put it right in yes no worries okay so that was that was key now I'm gonna hang mine I think from uh, the front so I'm gonna hang it so that it uh, the hook is out facing towards the front okay go there's two third okay and a fourth and then I'll actually try to hold it in midair I'm not even sure if the blue cups are dry at the top or anything we'll try to hold it in midair so I can show you actually what it looks like with the cups. So I've got my four hooks. This is how you'll actually hang it up right here like this. And then you can take your cups and go like this. How cute, right? How cute is that? And you know, if you want, you can angle them a little bit. Like you can turn it sideways if you want, however your cups are. It depends, I guess, on which cups you might have too. But um, actually I'll line them up so they're all like that. There we go. Or you know what, it would actually probably be better to put them, I forget that like I'm looking at it this way, probably maybe shortest, smallest to largest, because we tend to go right, left, like that. How cute is that, right? I know you guys love it. Thank you so much for joining me today on the video. I'm gonna put all the links up in the description that uh, you can go shopping. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message and we'll continue our kitchen series on our next video. Thanks so much for joining me on this one, guys. God bless, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.